what up what up what up it's the kickback kid and this right here is just beyond crazy i can't even describe uh i can't even put words to this right now this is just too freaking much if you checked out uh the previous part this is part 10 if you checked out part 9 hopefully i don't have anything mixed up uh this should be part 10 but if you if you didn't check out part 9 check it out check it the h out you know what i'm saying like at least the end at least go to the end to like the i don't even know how like basically when you see the light-skinned dude or marcus when you see him uh, uh in, in the streets with a whole bunch of other androids just at least check that part out it's it's that good it's that damn good oh man quantum dream man jesus i don't know what happened to me last time my behavior was not compliant Please accept my apologies. I don't remember anything, but I'm just gonna curve you like I usually do. Wait. And I'm gonna get to the game plan. <laughs> are, are you sure you should continue? Maybe. Maybe we should leave things as they are. What the heck is going on? Um. Are you sure you should continue? Yes. I'm. I gotta go. As I'm making wish. a video. Yo, what is it with these androids? This is my point. They were programmed with emotions. They're becoming attached to the humans. This is crazy. Crazy. Oh my god. I, look, I've been just straight up playing this game and skipping that android. I don't know if you are able to play with her or whatever, but I guess you just play with her and maybe build like a little relationship with her i've just been shooting through this to just you know do these playthroughs and actually enjoy the game enjoy the you know the real part of the game as far as the gameplay but i mean if that's the case where i can build a relationship with her that's also pretty cool i mean that's awesome um maybe i'll play with her uh next time if there's another part oh here we go we're in you're off the case the fbi is taking over what but we're on to something but we just need more time i'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it this isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide. And the android returns to cyber life. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's all. Oh. Hank, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Listen, take a few days to think it over. There's no rush. I thought enough about it. I'm tired of going through the motions. There's nothing keeping me here, not this case. Not my partner. I don't belong here anymore. Your mission is over. It's time to return to cyber life. Wait! I can solve this case! I just need more time! It's too late, Connor. You failed. Okay, all right. Man, I, I I guess that's the end of Connor's story. I mean, hey, man, whatever. I couldn't keep that dude alive. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. Uh, 
I got a feeling it's not going to be all right. We're going to get into some type of war ourselves. I guess Connor's story's done, assuming. Um, so we got uh, her, the android girl with the little girl. And then uh, we got Marcus, was, which looks over. But I mean, I don't know. That's yet to be determined. We'll see. I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> this character reminds me of uh, my sister. <laughs> Shout out to my sister. <laughs> oh, man. Well, here we are driving on our way to the north that way. Man, this game though, I mean, Jesus Christ, man. I mean, I've I never felt so much emotion holding and con holding a controller. Never. Never have I ever felt that much emotion. Honest to God when I say this, and I'm not saying this to be all dramatic or anything, but I was almost and it's making me emotional. Maybe because I'm just a sensitive person, but it's making me emotional now. I was almost in tears when I was playing uh Marcus's part when he was going through the the riff raff with you know you know when they were in the little war thing and battling and fighting off the security guards I've never felt that type of emotion before holding the controller. Quantum Dream is amazing. Quantum Dream needs to uh, they need to I'm not sure if they do correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments, but they need to um, they need to get away from I mean no stay with Sony but they need to share their their creativity on other platforms you know how about the microsoft guys the pc guys the nintendo guys sony that's not fair you you can't have games that's good that's it's not fair it's not cool you know there's too many other gamers who want to see good games like this you know but i mean i yeah like i was saying I, or like i've said and i'm just going to re-say what i just said i've never felt so much emotion holding control that was crazy um, am I supposed to do anything? This ride is long. Were we just supposed to just... I'm supposed to just sit here? I guess so. Oh, okay, yes, we're here. Perfect timing. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. So intense, so much emotion. Where do I go? Okay, let me use instinct before I start moving. Okay.
dark phase like that make me nervous. Okay, where are we? The country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized Android models. The situation is extremely alarming. They're conducting hey, raids across the city. We gotta destroy these bastards before, before they kill all of us. There's no good thing anyway towards them. I mean, do you think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also... Okay, look, I just want to do what I need to do so I can hopefully get to the north or hopefully get to her brother's house wherever I need to go. I don't want to explore. I'm too nervous for that. I, no, I just want to go. I don't want to stand around. I don't want to exert. International conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. There was a veritable groundswell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets, We've destroying gotta do everything in their path. We can't just stand by and let them I'm not watching that. I just want to go. Wait, I came from here. Okay. Seem to be determined to massacre humans. There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response to this wave of violence. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are. Okay, where do where do I go? Do I just sit here? Yep, I just sit here. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus leaves in two hours and it's on the other side of town. We'll go as soon as we have passports. Will you be okay? Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear. Where is she? I just seen her. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. Where is she? She's here. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corbel, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. There was a veritable groundswell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets, destroying everything in their path and threatening the lives of any humans they encountered. The police intervened quickly to quell the rioting, but they met with the extreme violence of the machines, which seemed to be determined to massacre humans. There can be no doubt that the authorities will be penniless in their response to this way. With all androids being turned over to the is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, black... Marcus! Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Thanks for the offer, but we won't leave now. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. 
I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You Let's said you're see. with a little um, girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Um, because there's a bond. She needs me. Then I need her. And also... It's as simple as that. Let's see. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids. They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. We got our own has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis. A lot of droids. I'm gonna go back downstairs because I've seen, um, I forgot her name, but the lady that got the dome missing. And, like, you know, all you see is her face. Up. There she is. I can't interact with her. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, see if I can go in here. network failures are oh. expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized Android models. The situation is extremely alarming. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They they rushed the police and they they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of... Wow, I can't interact with anybody. In any case, the danger... They opened fire on us even though we were unarmed. Hundreds of us died there. The place was covered with blue blood. We cannot just sit here and watch them murder us. We've got to defend ourselves. We have no choice. But they met with the extreme violence of the machines, which seem to be determined to massacre. Okay, let me see if I can go back to Marcus. There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response to this wave nope. of violence. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all. What do they want me to do? I've literally probably went everywhere trying to interact with something other than the TV. Oh, duh. As much as I care about the little girl, I actually forgot about her. According to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the 
Prussian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. There was a veritable ground swell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets, destroying everything in their path and threatening. What? a mom. You wanted a little girl. You needed each other to survive. In the end, what difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be. She loves you. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the one you wanted her to be. Out of love for you. The police intervened quickly to quell the riot. Wow. They met with the extreme violence of the machines, which seem to be determined to massacre oh, humans. Oh my god. There can be no doubt that the authorities will Award winning game. Do I talk to you? Look, you're the enlightened uh, android. What do I do next? I know, Marcus, I know. Jesus Christ, I'm freaking out. Marcus! <laughs> Yo! Oh my gosh. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the Android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Just looking for the stairs, guys. But according to some sources, there we go. Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Gremlin has made no comment. Where is she? Right here. Wait, is that her? Now I'm confused. This isn't like a clone, right? This is her. They just said that she was pretending to be a human the whole time. Staying here for like 15 seconds, who happens? seem to be determined to massacre humans. There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response to this wave of violence. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and okay, long enough. Water cuts, but they're telling me to return to her. Ain't that who she is? I'm super confused, man. No, I don't want to pick that up. Forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way 
Dude, what's next? Come on, I'm anxious. You told me to return to her. I returned to her. Now what? Okay, this is probably not her, man. I'm so confused. Oh my god, I don't know. This is where we came in, I think. Wait, no, no, that's not where we came in. Oh, what? Wait, huh? Oh, wait. Oh. short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. I don't know what to do. Aggressive. What are we supposed to do? Live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. That's a crime? It was a peaceful march and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? I need to think. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I want you to know that. Man. I'm glad that I met you. Dang. 
Jesus, 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 Jesus. Man. So many decisions with repercussions and crazy special like reactions and whatnot. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. I miss you. What's wrong, Marcus? I'm completely lost, Carl. The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I... Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I, I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. But don't let it consume you. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. 
One that very well may determine the future of our people. Okay, hold on, let me think about this. Hold on, this is gonna take a minute. Should I take the red pill to the right? Or take the blue pill, man. To the left. Too much pressure, man. I mean, should I just go ham on them? Launch an assault? You know, should I march peacefully? Launch an assault. March peacefully. March peacefully. Launch an assault. If I march peacefully, they probably just gonna take us out. If I launch an assault, we probably gonna get taken out anyway, but at least we fought, right? All right, um. We, we gonna march, man. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you wanna fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. If there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? This is a never-ending roller coaster. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please? Please? Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please! Please! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Please! Madam President! Is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Thank you. That will be all. 
Okay, what's going on now? The last boss leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Come on, walk. Are you alright? Hold on. Oh my god. Well, of course. All these decision makers, man, under pressure and stuff, just got my head like blah. Strap. Come on. <laughs> Let's not stay here. No! Please don't hurt me! You're gonna hurt your knee! What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. I'm going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I say! Are there many more? Look at them, they're like rats. The more you look, the more you find. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my nuts off. I'm just trying not to mess anything up. That's why I'm looking way over here on that corner. Let's move. There's a dude's head right there. Right there behind that car. Straight ahead. Go! There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Damn it. Come on, get moving. Hurry up, get in. Wait till they close that. But they're not gonna close it? Okay. Those are the drawers anyway. Oh boy. Look over there. It's the cherries. We can't help them. The soldiers are everywhere. We can't just leave them. They're going to kill them. Sorry, Alice. There's nothing we can do.
Okay, when, when do I move? Because it's not letting me move. I've already... Isn't that going backwards? Fine, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dang it. Look around for people. Okay, move. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Can I duck? My head's sticking up. Run! Wait, damn it. I gotta look at it. I gotta look at it. But he might turn again. Oh, yeah. He turned it back around. We gotta wait. Hold on. Alright, I'm gonna try to time this perfectly. Go, go, go. Run, 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 run. I'm not gonna be relaxed. I'm sorry, I'm just not. This is too much that happens back to back. A checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Is there another way? We could take a detour, but we might miss the bus. Maybe it's better to be safe. Oh, is that a security guard? Oh. All right. Whatever happens, don't panic, okay? Just stay calm. ID, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? Oh, uh, oh, oh! Our car just broke down. We're finishing on foot. We live nearby. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's God. not used to seeing soldiers. She's a little scared with everything that's happening. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, God, here we go. You dropped this. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President.
Here we are. The moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Oh god, here we go. Slaughtered like sheep. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? You stole my little girl! Todd! Security! Over here! Turning us in won't solve anything for you, you know that. You have your problems. They're nothing to do with us. Let go of me, Todd! <clears throat> of me or you will regret it. Excuse me, is there a problem, sir? They're androids. Check them. <sighs> On your knees!
speechless. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! That should do it. I all know that's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. You know, getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. I hoped they would finally understand. That they would realize how much they're hurting us. Why do they refuse to see what we are? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history.
could have sworn I just seen L1. I'm trying to look out that way. Forget it. Marcus, we found what uh, you asked for. I guess. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus? I've come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I just want to talk. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate, isn't that what you want? I gave you my answer. You want to play it like that? Okay. Humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. North! Peace.
explosion in Detroit. We still do not know what caused it, but we will... We have many unconfirmed reports, but we have no official news on exactly what it is at this time. Explosion in the south of Detroit. We still don't know if there are any victims, but these events may be linked to the Android Rebellion currently taking place in it's the city. a dirty bomb, Madam President. Oh my God. And the authorities have ordered the immediate evacuation of the city. If it really is a dirty bomb, then the radiation levels will be lethal for miles around. Detroit. Detroit has just fallen into the hands of the Android Rebellion. This is a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. Today, deviant androids triggered a dirty bomb in Detroit. This bomb released fatal levels of radioactive toxic waste. To ensure the safety of the population, the military is evacuating all civilians within a 50 mile radius. The city may remain uninhabitable for decades. This is the first time in our history that one of our cities has fallen into enemy hands. We are going to fight them with all our strength, and we won't rest until we have taken back control of Detroit and destroyed the last of them. Humanity is about to face its most important battle, one that will lead to our victory or our extinction. We! May God bless you all. Are! And may God bless the United States of America. Some emotional stress on my brain. I've never been so indecisive and confused playing a video game. Pushing buttons by mistake, having regrets of decisions I made. It's just ludicrous. Bravo, Quantic Dream. I'm really saddened that, you know, maybe I want to press start, but I kind of want to see this. Man. Okay, I'm gonna have to skip it because I don't, I don't know how much you guys can hear me over this music but it, I just can't turn away from it wait what is this okay never mind I thought that was maybe some type of aftermath that because they're dead right Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to skip this, but that's... Wait, it won't even let me. I'm pressing start. Okay, well, anyways, like I was saying, bravo to Quantum Dream. Uh, not only that, but, I mean, I really wish the little girl android and the woman android made it to, you know, uh, the, you know, to the north that way i wish they would have went to canada man it's it's so unfortunate that they had to go out like that connor eh, i was i didn't really have too much of an emotional attachment to him but of uh, the little girl the uh the woman android who saved the little girl who i thought was a girl was an android and then um marcus you know 
the first two stories ended sadly. I mean, um, you know, obviously Connor, he got whatever, deactivated. Little girl and the woman, they obviously got executed. I knew I should have been more uh, non-aggressive, but I was just so mad and in my feelings, you know, uh, from the dude. So I just chose to like threaten him because remember I had the peace on me, right? So I was thinking, you know, but then again, it wouldn't have been smart anyway. We still would have went down. So I should have been nicer and maybe I would have got on that bus. That really sucks. That's the biggest regret I had. I wish I wasn't so aggressive. If I wasn't so aggressive, I would have got on the bus and we would have went to Canada. We would have lived a human life, but I had to screw that up. That's my fault. Um, but Marcus, I guess that's kind of a happy ending. I mean, well, I don't know. I mean, you didn't messed up Detroit for... Can I press start? I don't really want to talk over this. Thank you. Gosh. Anyways, like I was saying, you know, they, you know, I just chose to ruin Detroit for, I don't know how long. I think they said for decades, you know, for decades. So I guess we human beings, we can't even be on anywhere on that turf, you know, but I'm happy for Marcus. I, I guess they just going to pretty much just live happily ever after in the state of Detroit. It's, Detroit's going to be an android uh type city or something and whatnot yeah that's that's what i'm thinking there but um yeah the, the, that really sucks man about the i'm still stuck on that that's the biggest regret i have i wish i was uh, a little i guess passive aggressive or whatever you want to call it i wish i would have made different decisions uh and maybe the little girl and the young lady would have got on the bus but i clearly messed that up too late you know but i mean hey marcus he survived he's probably my favorite character probably the one i had the most attachment to I was every time I was, you know, in those little action cutscenes pushing the buttons. Yeah, I messed up a lot, but I was not trying to have Marcus die for nothing. I'm sorry. Um, Marcus and, you know, the little girl and the girl Android, the, I, I had a connection with them. Uh, Connor, eh, I don't know, man. I just couldn't get it right with you. Anyways, beautiful game. Shout out to Quantum Dream. Bravo. Um, shout out to anybody who actually stuck to the end. If you stuck to the end, you're a trooper, you're a soldier. You're what I call a kickbacker. OK, you're a kickbacker. Welcome to Kickback Nation. Welcome to Kickback Gaming. Welcome to a new YouTube channel. A welcome to uh, uh, hopefully what will be uh, a great um, uh, channel for everyone to watch. You know, just just a great future, great uh, uh, gaming future, you know, in YouTube future or whatever. But um, big ups, man. Big ups, Quantum Dream. Big ups to everybody who watched one through ten big ups to uh everyone who liked all my stuff and sub to all my stuff and um yeah or if you just watched it that's i'm still grateful thank you this is kickback gaming signing out oh man you know what it is the kickback kid i can't even really do that right now i'm so much in my feelings but i gotta do it one time let me do it let me do it what up what up what up it's the kickback kid i gotta do it all right even though that's a greeting i'm gonna say that uh while i'm saying goodbye God bless. Thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, toodles.